start with Anita and Gleb. Yep. All eights across the board. Um, she said, uh, Len says she's a great all-rounder, but she's not got to the top of the leaderboard yet. How can she do that and make that happen, Karen? She's not a great all-rounder. Oh. She's a dynamic diva on this dance Ooh. floor. And I am sorry, Good. judges. Yeah. They've got to wake up. Yeah. It's not about Gleb anymore. We know he's our new professional. Yeah. It's incredible. This piece of choreography I've picked up here, the constant shape changing, the rolling of the top line. She sticks to him like glue. The choreography Gleb has given Anita from yeah. the word go has been incredible. And I would really like to see the marks going up much higher. I don't feel she's been rewarded enough. And I'm putting my foot down you now. You say it, We're Harley. over halfway, and yeah. I'm a woman on a mission this week. Okay. That is sensational. Well done, Anita. Yes. Well done. I feel better with getting she that out of my system now. I know. Jay and Aliona and their Foxtrot. Now, the judges gave yep. them an eight. Craig went for a six. Mm. Um, he described the performance as a little bland. Was he being a bit harsh there? Well, I don't know if he's being harsh. I'm hoping he's being cruel to be kind, okay? Because this dance, the Foxtrot, is equivalent to the difficulties of the rumba it's the power of the slows you've got to be able to control the slows with ease and balance and make it look easy um, what we would say is if he performed like this let's say in the final mm -hmm. there's not a strong chance of him winning so okay. what I'm saying here is I'm hoping Craig was saying listen great what you've done definite improvement mm -hmm. in his presentation personality but Come on, let's rev it up even more if we want to see you in the final. OK, come yep. on, Jay. He'll, put, he'll bring it. He will. Yes. Uh, Jamila and Tristan in the dance-off yet again. I salute them. They've been there so many times. It's yep. quite incredible. They survive every week. Um, Craig said she was dancing with bent legs in the samba, um, and he didn't see one straight leg without... You're pulling your sleeves up. You have stuff to say. Can I have my Joan Collins shoulder pads on. <laughs> the legs are meant to be bent in there the samba. There we go. They are Yes. This woman was fabulous. The only thing I would ask her to do, yeah. look, she's bending all the way through on the classic steps. But from here on in, it's as though she gets nervous, so she starts looking down and the selling of the performance. Okay. What I would say to Jamelia, you are great. You are doing it right. You are on a roll. Just keep your personality and sell the dance. Whether it's a foxtrot, a tango, a samba, believe in yourself and get that personality out that we know she she can do. She has it. Sell yes. it, Jamelia. We'll Sell catch it. up with her and Tristan Fabulous. very, very soon. Helen and Aliash and their tango. <gasps> Lots of content this week, so Len was thoroughly happy. What did you like? <gasps> There's so much I love. Now, we talk about tick boxes. They've, mm -hmm. got, they've got the contact together, they've got the top line, they've got a lovely staccato action, strong footwork, and now we talk about footwork. I had to say it at that moment, because look at this slow down. Oh. Can you see Ooh, the, dragging the dragging of that dragging. foot? Oh. Now, when we're talking about tick boxes, and I, and I like to say, the public at home, they're all going to be looking for that gapping, the top line, those things mm -hmm. we talked about. She's in another league again. She's not stomping across the floor. She's dragging the feet now, which keeps her down, gives her contact with her partner. It gives it more musical interpretation. You know, these are the things that you're not going to see. You're not meant to see them, but it adds to the whole production. And I caught that little gem right there, and I needed to share it. This was Fabulous. Well done. God, they're all so good. <laughs> You're very excitable today. I am. Um, Katie and Anton <laughs> scored 31 for their rumba, their highest score for a Latin dance in the competition, so well done to them. They've previously struggled a bit with the Latin. What has changed in Katie? Because this was a great yeah. performance. This is incredible. It's all down to the power of the choreography. Yeah. You get it wrong and it will go against you. This was beautiful. Simple thing here, like an opening out to left and right. She's got exquisite legs and they double time it. So what, this is a classical lady. I, uh, the first moment I saw her dance, her beautiful back in the top line of ballroom, and what we have in Latin are these exquisite legs. She stands like a lady. The legs are always beautifully placed. I see you readjusting your I legs. I did. Did you I'm see that? There. I'm like this. Right. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yes, yes ladies, I, just, I want the beveled leg. always have our legs. Yeah beautifully presented. She's a classical lady, so you don't want to overkill the choreography, mm -hmm. but you need to keep her moving and oozing on the dance floor. And it was fabulous. And the song as well. The song was a beautiful it's a song. Favorite. It was it's a, a favourite of mine. OK, Kelly and Kevin. Uh, Craig decided, hurrah, that he loved the hip-hop meets the samba fusion. Uh, Darcy and Len, Len wasn't quite as convinced. Um, do you like these alternate takes on a dance? Right. Here we go again. Um, 
all the change that happened in this was it was an alternate take on the fashion. Yeah. When you look at it, the dance is pure Latin. We've got natural rolls, we've got opening, uh, we've got whisks, we've got yeah. volters, we've got all the classic steps, beautiful bent legs. So I was really surprised with Darcy and Len at yeah. their comments because actually the hip hop action just brought it to a whole new level and said, We've been different, we're new, come on, bring the game on. And that's what I love about these two. And there's another step that I picked up oh, yeah, on, yeah, yeah. the bachacada. Oh. Now, look, a lovely slow action of it. And, and look what they're doing, they're just giving it a hip-hop action. So I thought, well, look at it. I thought we'll get everybody at home come doing on. Is it a bachacada. Now, cameraman, you're going to start at my gorgeous ankles today. All Thanks, right. Carol. All right. nice it work, goes Carol. wrong as we head further up, but we're going to start at the bottom there. Bachacada is about pushing into the floor, and as the camera moves up, oh, he's a good boy. He's a good today. boy, Carol. Tim, yes. you're on Very form. good boy. All right, so we roll. Oh, through the right All right, Ooh. so we get the pushing and the rolling. Now, all you do is you add this, you know, at my age, we yeah. can still get a bit of hip hop in yeah. there. Oh, at my age. Come on. Bring it on, that's what oh, I say. Was, I can't oh. enjoy that a little bit too much over there, I think. So I don't funny. think there's anything wrong with yeah. stepping outside the box okay, and having do fun. It. it was brilliant. Uh, Peter and Jeanette, and their Via Leeds Walls, Len said it was good, but he said to get a 10, you've got to do something extremely special. Now, what was missing, if anything? Very simple. Yeah. He's got to be a man. He's got to be a man. He's got to be a man. Andre. Look at this. He's looking at Jeanette all the way through this performance. Yeah. I've been watching it for a while. This guy is an incredible performer. He's an amazing dancer. The relationship, you know, I'm very pro them. I love what they're doing. But be a man. Stop looking at her. He's got to be the leader on the dance floor. Right. He's got to show her the way oh. around the dance floor. Okay. So what I want to see and what maybe Len's looking for and some of the others, he's got to be the leader. He's got to take control. He's got to initiate the moves and let Jeanette be the gorgeous lady that just whisks around him and makes him look even greater than he already is. Okay, and Georgia and Giovanni to finish with. So brilliant. This Charleston, it was just incredible. It made me cry. I loved it so much. <laughs> uh, what was just so good about this? There's so much. She must have been a, a Charleston lady in her previous life. This was incredible. This is what we've got to pick up on, haven't we? Woo! Not only over the top, a backflip. Then she keeps dancing Charleston and we think it's all over and whoop, we're up and over again. Look at this. And I've carried it going a little bit more. She's got the character she's got the isolation she's got the footwork and on top of it all she's got the fossey she she's has. got the fossey all the way for me this was the dance where she came out of her shell and she actually started to perform okay. and dance completely Brilliant. loved it this great week great show so exciting. bring it on and now to blackpool karen yeah. is back with us next week